So, all right, let's go shopping. Hopefully we'll find something. So even trying to get the extra small over my head, I was like, no, I'm gonna dislocate my shoulder. I'm gonna rip something. No, I have been looking for these, not these exact ones, but you know, something like this for over a year. So I got kind of like the only things that I'm like, yes, those are worth the splurge for me. <gasps> There's a really, really, really pretty rainbow. Hold on, hold on. Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, I wanna go shopping with you guys. We are at the Florida Mall in Orlando and I wanna go to H&M and Zara and Mango and I mostly wanna look for some tops, but I also kinda wanna look for a pair of shorts and a pair of pants as well. And, but mostly tops, like that's really why I'm here. And then also I wanna go to Sephora cause I have some store credit and I wanna get some makeup and some skincare. So let's go shopping. I'll take you along with me and show you some footage shopping around and like in the dressing rooms and stuff. And then obviously I'll show you guys what I buy as well. Hopefully I find a couple things and uh, yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, I had to park in this back parking lot. It's usually where I park anyway, but this parking lot seems to be filled. But yeah, so at least at this specific mall, I always park over here near American Girl because H&M and Zara are right next to it. So I always just go to those two first and then Mango is basically right when you walk inside. So, all right, let's go shopping. Hopefully we'll find something. Life has a way of keeping you guessing Just when you think you got it figured all out It can knock you down with the unexpected Turn your whole world upside down It'll take your breath and put you on your knees Have you asking God why? But the smallest step in the right direction Was the biggest step of my life On my way to you All the stars aligned from that moment I knew The rhythm must have felt it too I found my everything My perfect melody My better than a dream come true It was worth all the hell That I went through On my way to you Girl, you're the sunrise In my eyes There ain't no better view I talk these days are a million times Better than the sun of the best Days I've had before you Somehow you took a man so broken And made him brand new This whole heart don't hurt like it used to Yeah It's on my way to you All the stars aligned from that moment I knew On my way to you Fate and forever must have felt it too I found my everything My perfect melody My better than a dream come true it was with all the hell that I went through On my way to you Fade and forever must have felt it too It's better than a dream come true It was worth all the hell that I went through Hey guys, it is 5.30 and I think I got to the mall at like 1.30 or something like that, one o'clock. So I was in there for a while. I got a couple things that I'm gonna show you. Don't mind my hair. I tried on a lot of shirts. So like the up and down, up and down made my hair a little, just extra like cool messy. Let's go cool messy, right? Anyway, okay, so I ended up getting two things from Zara. This is a giant bag. He literally told me he was putting it in a giant bag because they were out of the medium bags, but it's only like to here. I got two things at Zara and then I got three, well, five things, three slash five things at Sephora. So let me start with Zara. I am 
95, 99% positive that I have uh, footage of both of these items, so I will show you. So I got this top. <sighs> okay, this is so me. This is so me. This is, this is also so me. This top is so me. You guys, a denim long sleeve pullover shirt thing. Come on, come on. I got this in a small, normally in tops I'm an extra small, depending if I want an oversized, I might get a larger size, blah, blah, blah. But generally in most tops, I'm an extra small for it to like fit properly. But this I ended up getting in a small because it's denim and it does not stretch. There's no zippers, no nothing. And so even trying to get the extra small over my head, I was like, no, I'm gonna dislocate my shoulder. I'm gonna rip something, no. So I ended up just getting the small. And again, certain things I like oversized anyway. And like a denim shirt like this, like I'm good with it being oversized. I, I kind of wouldn't want this to be tight anyway. And so yeah, it's like, it's real cute. I think it's real cute. This and the other thing that I got, I am gonna like try and get at the house, make sure that I can style it right, you know, before I definitely keep it. But at least just as a piece, I think it's very cute. And this was 40, $5.90. So yeah, I just need to make sure that I can style it right in a way that I like. But it's very cute. Okay, the other thing that I got, I have been looking for these, not these exact ones, but you know, something like this for over a year, over a year. And I could not find any that fit me, that I liked, that were in a budget that I was like comfortable with, you know, because my budget is very tight. This is just like, I wanted to get myself a couple new things for fall, winter. Um, these, again, gotta try them on again at the house. Regardless though, if these work, I got black jeans. I've been looking for black jeans for a very long time, a very long time. The last time that I had black jeans that like really fit, it's been years, it's been years. These are the Zara wide leg. I think they're like, yeah, high rise full length. I gotta cut them or cuff them, cut or cuff, probably cut them, probably. And they're high rise, which I like the wide leg. I got a size two or uh, you know, it says 34 to 24. It's like a locker combination. Do you guys remember locker combinations? Do kids still have those? Sorry, do kids still have, they have to, right? What else would they do? They have to have locker combinations. Anyway, that reminded me of a locker combination, 34 to 24. Okay, anyway, these are black jeans. And the thing is, so finding denim is hard for all of us, right? It's a difficult thing to find ones that fit properly in the way that your body is shaped and in the way that you even like how they fit, right? And so I like my denim to be a little oversized, like a little baggy, but still fit. And I don't like when things are too tight around my waist, but I still want them to fit right. So I have like a whole thing. But then also to find black denim in a shade of black that I actually like is very hard for me. So this color I think is perfect for what I want. I want it to just be like a little bit lighter than my shirt basically, like a little bit lighter. And that's what this is. And they're wide leg and I like them. And these were, I think the same price, 49.90. No, what were these? 45.90 and this, this was 49.90, which is like for denim, ah, whatever, anyway. If they fit and if I like them, I'll wear them for years. So, and again, they fit in the store, but I just need to try them on again at the house and really make sure that I can style them. Cause honestly, when I put these on with this shirt and I like this shirt, but when I put these on with this shirt, it looked like too much. So I think for like, I just hit my glasses. I think if I'm gonna do really dark baggy denim, I need to do a tank top that like maybe shows like this much more skin or something like that. Ooh, this would be like a cool neckline. Anyway, I think that I need to do that. Can I just clip it? Hold on. I saw someone do that recently, that she had like little clips. I'm trying to think if I have anything, like little claw clips. I just did that and just clipped it. So it's not like permanent. Anyway, regardless, <laughs> I think for these pants specifically, I would want something, either I'd wear these with like a button down and I'd leave some of this open or something. I like being covered. I like being modest in the way that I dress. However, just the proportions seem a little off. If I'm wearing like, I don't know, proportions just seem a tiny bit off. So anyway, regardless, I got these two things and it's loud. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So here's the thing. I originally went into the store, is it raining? I don't know why I asked that. There's rain on my windshield. I don't hear it. I also don't really see it. I just see rain on my windshield now. Oh. It's like it happened when I didn't notice. It's just little drops of rain on my windshield. Not new ones. 
Just ones that are there that I didn't notice happen. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, the original reason that I wanted to go to the store is I wanted to get a pair of black jeans, so good. And I think earlier I was like, oh, maybe pants, maybe shorts. Honestly, the only reason that I was like, uh, is because uh, I've been looking for them for a really long time and I haven't found anything. So I didn't really have my hopes up in terms of jeans, but I think that I like those, I think, regardless. The other things that I wanted to get, I wanted to get a few tops and I wanted to specifically get like one or two, and I have been talking about this for a very long time as well, probably well over a year, that I wanna get one or two like nicer tank tops and one or two short sleeve shirts that are not t-shirts. And they are just really hard for me to find. Again, that I like in my style that fit me and my body and the level of modesty that I like to be at and all that kind of stuff. It's just like a little difficult for me to find. And so I, with all the changes that I'm making mentally and, and with God and all that stuff, I do not want to be fixated on shopping because the way that I have fixated on shopping in the past, I have kind of idolized it a little bit. Honestly, once we really think about idolizing things, it becomes like so apparent of like what we are extra focused on in our life that's not God. And so there have been times in my life where I'm like, I really want a short sleeve shirt. And then it's all I think about for like three weeks. And it's like, no, I don't want to get like that again. Cause then it really does turn into like, that's my focus. And I'm like, no, 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 God is my focus. God is definitely my focus. And so I think it's okay to want some shirts. I think that's fine. I think it's okay to go shopping and obviously stay within a budget and all that kind of stuff. But like, I just want to make sure that I'm not like super hyper-focused on it, you know? And so, yes, I do want to maybe go shopping again another day this week or next week and look for another couple shirts, but I don't wanna have this drawn out. I don't wanna think about it all the time, you know? So it is something that I'm working on, which might be really, really, really easy for some of you, but I've just noticed with me that sometimes like when I get my mind on wanting to buy something, sometimes, not all the time by any means, but sometimes I'll get like really fixated and it's all I think about and all I research and all I do for, you know, sometimes like weeks. And I just don't want to be like that. So I know that I want to get maybe one or two tank tops that are just a little fancier. And then, you know, two-ish short sleeve shirts that are not t-shirts. And so again, I, oh, by the way, uh, I filmed in Zara. I did not film in H&M and I did not film in Mango. Or maybe I filmed a little bit in the mango dressing room. But H&M, I was in there for like two minutes. I got really like overstimulated in there for some reason. So I looked for like two minutes and then I just left. And in mango, I did go throughout the whole store and I tried out a bunch of things and I liked a couple things, but not enough to buy them. But at least Zara, I know I filmed in there a little bit and I got those two pieces. And so yeah, maybe at some other point, I'll go to another mall in Orlando or I will go to, you know, a Target or TD Maxx or something like that, um, specifically for the tank tops and the short sleeve shirts. Anyway. Let me show you what I got at Sephora. So they did not have one of like the two things that I really went in there for, but that's okay. I'm gonna get it at Ulta the next time I go to Ulta. And it was the Ordinary Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. They were just totally out of it at Sephora. But the other thing, oh, the sun is, eh, that's okay. So that was like the main, one of the two main things that I went in Sephora for. The other thing they did have, and it was the Kosas Revealer Concealer in the color 3.20. O means olive undertone, and I'm Italian. I do have an olive undertone. The sun, I'm so glad the sun is out. I love the sun. It's just that the lighting was good, and now it's it's not. Hold on, let me, let me turn around. Let me turn around. We'll be right back. Okay, how's that lighting? I think it's better. Okay, so, uh, yeah. So I got the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I love this. I've talked recently several times about how my face is just breaking out a lot a lot more than it has in years and I think part of it could potentially be skincare or makeup that I'm using I do actually think that some of it is probably the food that I'm eating but I'll talk about that in another video um, but anyway regardless I just wanted to go back to the Kosas Revealer Concealer because I used to use this all the time when my face was not breaking out and so I just wanted to go back to this I love this probably my favorite concealer it's very expensive it is one of the only things that I'm like, yes, that is actually worth the splurge for me. So I love that. It's $30. $30 is very expensive for a concealer, but I love it. And I'll just use it all over my face. Okay. So the other thing that I got, oh, let me show you this first. Okay. So this product, I actually already own one, but I just own it in a different shade. And I wanted to get a lighter shade to mix with it because depending on how tan I am and all that kind of stuff, I just might need a different shade. And so this is the Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint. I love this. It's so nice. I put this on with my fingers, with my hands, because I think that that gives it a nicer finish. It just like blends well. So I have this in the shade 
four that has an olive undertone, but it's a little dark, a little bit. Like I have it on right now, but it's just the tiniest bit dark for me. And so I wanted to pick up one of the lighter shades. I used to also have shade one and I would just kind of mix them, but then shade one got old, blah, blah, whatever. But I got shade two, which online says it's a cool tone shade. But when I tried it on the store, it's definitely not cool toned. So I don't know. I don't know. At least on me, it's more like a neutral kind of tone. So I got shade two. I think that'll be a good match. And then that, this is 42. I just, by the way, I had a store credit for Sephora. So I got kind of like the only things that I'm like, yes, those are worth the splurge for me. Honestly, the revealer concealer worth the splurge. Kind of, especially for me at Sephora, I think that some uh, skincare, some complexion products, and then also some lip products, just because I have a lot of allergies and I like to make sure that my lip products are safe because, you know, like sometimes you eat your lip gloss and stuff, you know? But also with complexion products, I do think that some of them for me are like worth the splurge. But I had like $75 in store credit. And so I use that for that and for this. And then the last thing that I bought, I know I said I got five things, but two of them were like the little point things that I got. But the last thing that I bought was the Summer Fridays Mini Neutrals Lip Butter Balm Set. So this is gluten-free. As far as I know, I emailed them like a year and a half ago and asked and they said it was um, just the lip butters in general. And so yeah, this is like a little four kit. Honestly, I got a very similar kit. I think like three of the four, what is in my mouth? There was something in my mouth. I don't know what it was. I got a similar kit last year. The only difference was that this has iced coffee and last year it had like poppy or something, which was like an orangey red, which I didn't wear anyway. I think I got rid of that one because I'm like, I just was not gonna wear that one. So this, I love that it's all neutrals because I know that I like all three of these. This is just clear. And then these are all just like shades of like light brown. This one's a little bit darker brown. Um, and I just really like this. I know it's gluten-free. Are these the best lip balms in the world? No. Are they nice? Yeah. And this set of four minis is $25, which I think, especially since I got this last year and I still have two of them that are not fully empty yet. Obviously I do switch around and I use other lip balms, but regardless, this is probably gonna last me like at least a year. And so I do think that that's worth it. And so I got that as well. And then the last two things that I got are these little Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom body oils. I got two of them because <laughs> these are a hundred points. And at Sephora, like when you buy things, you can earn points. And then I just keep saving them and saving them. So I have a lot of points, a lot of points. And these were a hundred. I have way more than a hundred. Like, I think I have like 1700 or something. Like I have a lot of points or I did at least. And I saw they had this and I was like, oh, I kind of want to try this oil. And the girl said that she really liked it. And so she's like, do you want to get two since there are a hundred points and you have a million? And I'm like, yeah. So I got two of these. So that's what I got. That's what I got. And again, most of that was store credit. And then um, I really just, again, over the next couple weeks, and I probably won't film it. Oh, there's a really, really, really pretty rainbow. Hold on, hold on. You guys, look at that rainbow. I love that. That's so pretty. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. What a beautiful rainbow. It's so pretty. I can like really see the purple which I feel like is, I don't know, not as often that I see the purple so like vibrant. Wow, it's really pretty. Anyway, I might go shopping at other stores to maybe look for some more tops. And so maybe I'll show that. If you guys really like these shopping vlogs, let me know because maybe I will show that in another video. But if not, maybe you'll just see me wearing new tops at some point. And by the way, with all like the changes and stuff that I'm making, I did pray before I went shopping and, or actually kind of like in the middle. And I was like, God, I hope that I find some tops that I like. But if I don't find any tops, or if I don't find enough or whatever, I just really hope that you help me stay calm through this because sometimes I get anxious when I go shopping and sometimes I get a little overwhelmed or I get overstimulated at the stores or whatever, or sometimes I get angry when I can't find something or whatever. And so I just did pray, like, even if I can't find any shirts, I just hope that God keeps me calm. And there were a couple times, again, like at H&M, I did get like overstimulated, but I was like, you know what? I can just leave. It's okay. I can just leave. You know, because I think putting yourself in situations that might help you grow, I think that's really good. But there are some situations that we just don't need to be in and they're not going to help us anyway. Like I did not need to be in H&M before. I just really didn't. Like I went in there and I just got immediately overstimulated and I was like, is it going to be beneficial if I push through this? Probably not. There are definitely a lot of things that I push through and I think it is beneficial, but it's just kind of like, we have to really know when. We have to really, really know when it's important to push through and when it's important to just be like, no, I don't need to be in that situation, you know? And so there were a couple times that I was a little like, I don't know, I don't know. But overall, 
I, I just know that like, I'm just so much more focused on God, you know? And so even if I don't find anything else, it's okay. God is still good. God's good all the time. And I think, especially for me, but I think for everyone, it's good to even be praying and thinking about God during stuff like this, you know, because I think it's so easy to just be like, oh, I'm going shopping. So I'll just think about what I want. I think that's kind of common, but I want it to be like, God, I want to make sure that I'm buying stuff that you are okay with. You know, especially with clothes, like I hope that it's stuff that God's okay with me wearing, you know? And I know that again, that whole train of thought is gonna be different for everyone, but that's the train of thought that I have and that I wanna have. But at least for now, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me a little bit today, just shopping a little bit in Orlando. I really hope that you're subscribed. I do a bunch of vlogs and I also talk about mindset. I talk about God. I talk about food on Sundays sometimes. And so I really hope that you're subscribed. And yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.